that goes over a pothole or a bump in the road or anything like that. Now that we're all lined up, we are going to lower the jack. Now, if you guys have a really large boat, you're gonna have to get really good at backing your truck up perfectly. So we know we have a secure connection. All we gotta double check your work. And as the truck and trailer is getting closer, we do this. The truck is coming with it. The truck is coming with it. This video is brought to you by Lippert. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited because in seven easy steps, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to attach a truck to a trailer. My name is Emily, a man's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Step number one is to make sure that you have the right ball size on your receiver hitch for your trailer. This is a Kurt receiver hitch and I'll show you guys, it's super easy and straightforward to figure that out. You guys can see here on the top of the ball, we have all the information we need and right underneath Kurt, it says two inches. So that's the size of this ball. And then we're gonna move on to our trailer. It's kind of rusted out guys, but looking at the trailer, you can see it says ball two inches. So we have to match our two inch trailer with the two inch ball on the receiver hitch. We just upgraded our receiver hitch to this Kurt receiver hitch made by Lippert with shock drop technology. Guys, I'm really excited about this one. So it has a rocker ball and what the rocker ball does is it absorbs shock. It definitely gives me a peace of mind knowing that this ball is going to absorb shock waves when my trailer is being towed. If it goes over a pothole or a bump in the road or anything like that, I know that I can trust this receiver hitch that much more. If you guys want to check it out, we will put the links in the description box. Time for the new receiver hitch to make its way onto the truck. Step number two is to back the truck up to the trailer. Best case scenario, you have a second person to help you out. If you're alone, I really hope you guys have a backup camera. If not, maybe just ask your neighbor for some help. It's very important that you and the person that's helping you understand what your lingo is going to be. So when someone's moving their hand this way or that way, the driver knows what that means. So Amanda and I have it pretty figured out. So we put both thumbs to the right if they gotta go to the right, and both thumbs to the left if they gotta go to the left. Once it starts to get close and straight, we take our hands like this and we hold them high so that way the driver can see it. And as the truck and trailer is getting closer, we do this. And then when the hands touch, it basically means stop. So guys, that's just our language. You can come up with maybe a more formal language. If you're a airline pilot or something like that, you probably have cooler lingo to do. All right, so I can see Amanda very well in my rear view mirror. And she is just telling me to come straight back. All right, I gotta go to the right a little bit. All right, straighten back up, back, back, and now she's got her hands like this and she's gonna tell me how close to get to it. Stop. Put the car in park. Let's talk about step three. Now that we're all lined up, we are going to lower the jack and attach the ball to the trailer with the safety pin. First things first though, we need to release this latch. So this is when it's locked and this is when it's open. When it's open, the ball will go in and this part here will go around the skinny part of the ball, securing the ball inside of the hitch. As we lower it, now because this, this boat and trailer is on the lighter side, if I need to manipulate it, I can kind of push it around. Now, if you guys have a really large boat, you're gonna have to get really good at backing your truck up perfectly. There's no real way around that. So Emily can manipulate it if she needs to, but we're good, we're just gonna go straight down. Alrighty, there we go. Looking good. So let's check out the wheel, so Amanda. So now the wheel for the jack is coming up off the ground. So we now know that we are connected. So go ahead and push that latch down. Perfect. Yep, just like that. And let's grab our pin. So most trailers are going to come with a pin. If you guys lose your pin, a little fun fact, you can literally get a regular lock and key. And this also adds for some security. If 
you don't want anyone stealing your trailer because if you have the key and you leave the exactly, lock Exactly, your trailer or there your boat or whatever Safe. it is. So now we're Locked all secure. On. That's our pin. We've got a lock. A lot of pins look different, but that is ours. Step number four is going to be to make sure that we have a secure connection between the truck and the trailer. So guys, we're just double checking our work. That's all we're doing. Yes, and we are gonna do that by just lifting up on that jack. So Emily is going and lifting up on the jack and we are gonna basically watch you want the, the truck to the come truck up to get lifted. So keep going. There we go. The trailer. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And eventually, so you can see that oh, it's yeah. coming up, but keep going. The truck is coming with it. The truck is coming with it. So it might be hard to see with this up close shot, but if you were here in person, oh, it's yeah. definitely much easier to it's see. It's definitely going because this thing's heavy. In person, so it's getting <laughs> heavy. So there we go. So go ahead and drop that back down. So we know we have a secure connection. Always going to double check your work. Number five, we're almost there guys. We are going to put our jack away properly for towing. So I'm going to lift it all the way and I'm gonna go literally so gonna go as high as, as, high as I so can. So something to remember guys is please don't like leave it like this and just start driving. We are gonna lift, lift, lift all the way until it cannot go up anymore. And I'm actually gonna switch sides so you can see it from the other side. Nice job, so we're just gonna keep lifting that up and we're almost there. You can see our, we kind of got an old trailer. It's a little bit rusted, but it works and it's safe and does the job done. Don't worry, it's been inspected. All right, let's keep that going. Almost there. Okay, so our jack cannot go up any higher. Ours twists to the side and locks in place with this pin. And that is now put away for towing. So every jack is going to be different on every trailer. And this is how ours works. Step six, we are going to attach our safety chains and lights. And once again, every truck and trailer is different, but it's pretty straightforward. So I have so my chains from the trailer. Are coming from the trailer and attaching. Yep. So there's one to the truck. There's two, just like that. And now let's do the lights. The lights. So our lights attach right here where Emily is, getting those in there nice and secure. Last but not least, final step, step seven, is to check your lights. Now, if you're alone, put your hazards on, get out of your truck and go check your lights or set up a phone and hit record and hit your blinkers. I have, I have done that. If you are not alone and you have a buddy like I do today, you can just get in the truck. Hey, is right blinker working? Yeah, is left blinker working? Yeah, how about the hazards? How about the brake lights? Check your lights. We have a mandatory bonus step for you guys, and that's to double check your boat. So we do plan on doing an entire video about how to properly have your boat on the trailer for towing, AKA when you're pulling it out of the water and you're putting it on the trailer and you're ready to drive away. Yeah, so today's video was is specifically about the trailer and the truck, okay? Yes. But we have more content coming for you guys. But you do need to double check your boat. So make sure everything is secure. Your chains, your, your chains, straps. That's, the, that's the, pull, the push pull. <laughs> We're gonna work our way back. And, and we we've have got some more. We got some ratchet straps yes, there, heavy duty straps, straps on either keeping side. the boat secure. And we and have we also have our wedge, our motor. Let me, we call there we our go, motor that buddy. white motor support. And there is our motor support. So, so we will go over more of the boat aspect of this in a future video. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments. We're happy to answer them. We want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.